Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Vidra the Longest Night 100% Water. So in this episode we're going to do the Heart of Groundwater and the Catacombs. So we're going to do all this here and let's continue to go down. We're also going to do a little bit of the maze sewer since um, there's only a little bit of it left that's it. Uh, the sewer level in general. We already did two parts of the sewer. Now there's this one part left and it's just a small little part. So we're gonna go up top first. Right up here. Get rid of that thing. Let's grab... Oh boy. Iron arrow. Okay, we wanna go up here. We want to grab this, the cage head. A human head twisted and cursed by ruthless demons and saved by horrifying magic reduces the attack and defense abilities of the monsters in the cage. Now we want to go down here. And up here. Get grab the ordinary ring. Let's see. Let me get rid of this light of exploration. Alright, that's a little bit better. We don't need so much. Uh, spells in our inventory, that's for sure. Oh. Okay, let's grab this chest here. This is Vessel of the Holy Six, which is a throwable item that can leech HP. Is it down here? Yeah, this is it. So slide through there, jump up here, and up here. We're gonna grab the Sacrificial Sword. A weapon from the Lost Civilization, a totem carved onto the blade hints at a bloody history. There's the stats on it. Let's keep her going. Slide down. Might have to go back the other way. Yeah, we have to go back the other way, hold on. This part leads into, I think, the Maesur. Anyways, let's grab this here. Ordinary ring. We're gonna go to the groundwater part first. Actually, you know what, let me get the... Uh, let me get the owl statue here first. Should be, I think, over here. No, it's up top. Yeah, it's up top here. Don't worry. Right here. Alright, so now we're going to teleport. Right back to the lower catacombs. And we'll come back here after. Alright, so I needed to teleport back here because we skipped out this one part here. Right at the very bottom. Yes. So let's skip all the enemies. And once you do that, and grab that... Go to your owl statue. I mean, go to your owl feather, and we'll te just teleport right back. That's all. Uh, make sure you touch the owl statue one more time. All right, so let's just take out the axe, and let's go this way. I'm gonna lose some HP. I want to lose some HP at least, maybe half. All right, there. That's good enough. Let's kill now. I just want to make myself stronger. So get small chamber stone times two, get a frost stone. And get your hand of glory out. We're gonna be using this to farm the uh, salt bag easier. Uh, as well as some gold. Because you can get lots of gold from this enemy coming up. Lots of gold. So let's slide under here. Now be careful, he might rush you. Just like that! God, I hate that, because I'm sliding under it and I'm locked into that animation. 160 gold. Let's see if I can steal it. Come on. Oh, I stole it. Okay. So let's just kill this thing. Okay, let's get this off there. Now we'll do the same thing to this guy here. Mm. 
160 gold. Okay, he's dead. We'll grab braided rope of bitter vines, salt bag. How much are these worth anyway? Are they worth quite a bit? No, not really. They're not really worth farming. Look, they drop lots of gold though. They're worth farming for that. Alright, we'll get some HP just in case. Let me see the map here. All right, so we should be coming up to a to an apple statue here. All right, so we want to head. You know what? Yeah, let's head down, and we'll go around like this, right up here. We'll grab this to get Fletching's blood soul. Then we'll go up here. We'll grab this healing potion. Now make sure this is kind of a little tricky. You gotta make the right, the right jump. I don't know why it's like this. It's stupid. Finally got it. All right, guys. That hidden spot is very tricky to do, so you're gonna have to mess around with it. I'm not sure why it's so glitchy like that, but let me investigate it. Residue image. It took me a while to find a sweet spot. It shouldn't be that glitchy like that. Like, see? It's a pain in the ass. Anyways, um, inventory. So here's this bell. Creates a phantom copy of yourself, confusing monsters into attacking mirror image. That could be useful. Anyways, let's, let's go up here. Hold on. Let's go up here. Remember, it's always good to fill up the map because it increases our attack power with that ring we have, right? So even if there's no treasure there, you still want to fill up the map anyway. Right, let's go back up here again. We'll do this. And we'll go up here this time. And I guess we'll fill up this part of the map as well. There's nothing here. We can knock this down. Mm, that's about it. Now over here is an underground cave. And we'll do this in a different episode because I want to stick to the catacombs and the groundwater for this. So we'll do this in a different episode. So what I'm going to do now is teleport and Let's go back to the maze sewer. So we'll finish the rest of this maze sewer here, and then we'll teleport the May bridge and grab the daggers. I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, this is... Where does this lead? Oh, this is the May bridge. Okay, I guess we might as well do it now, since we're already here. So this was caved in before, remember? It was We investigated and said we can't get in from this side. Now it's cleared now. So jump up here. And slide under here. This will get us the prom daggers that I was talking about. So there's the stats on them. These daggers have clown heads for pummels. It seems the smith favored artistic value over practicality. Now we can go back to the maze sewer. Actually, we'll just teleport. Did I get the autosave? No, I didn't. So we'll teleport back, and this time we'll get the autosave. And we'll go right this time, because we want to open up this locked door with the sewer key that we have. And we want to grab elegant bed drapes, which obviously is a decoration. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's pull this down. Um, Let's go this way. 
Actually, I think this is the catacombs way. Let me see. Yeah, this is the way to the catacombs. Let's pull this down again. Legends, but so we can jump the um, the sewers here. You don't have to call that thing down. Just go like this. Grab the steel fence, dag uh, twin daggers. This piece of prison fencing has been used as a weapon. Live free or die. And there's the stats on it. You can do the same thing up here as well. And just make a way all the way up like this. Grab that. There should be another drop. Yeah, right down here. So we'll grab 400 gold. I think that's the last item. I did grab the other item over here. Yeah, I did. Okay. And this one as well. Alright, so what we'll do now is go up here. Actually, hold on. Yeah. So we'll jump up here. And up here. Let's enter Maytown now. So we already broke the fire pillar here in a different episode. Now the reason why I want to return here is because I want to turn in the quest, the salt bag. And then we head right to the catacombs, so we'll just teleport. So we'll just get the owl's feather ready. We have to head to the tavern, I believe. That's where we encountered the quest there. Doctor's home. Home. I think tavern's the next house over. Yeah, there it is. So we want to go all the way up here. The music is pretty nice in this game. Let's go to the kitchen. Turn in our quest. Any luck with that monster? Of course. Fine, we'll talk to this guy. Here's your salt. It's fresh. Thanks for your help. Now we can finally start working. The people outside must be starving. This pan is for apprentice training. You can take it as a reward. Hmm, isn't that mine? You don't need it anymore. So we got apprentices frying pan. And those updated and also we got the achievement unlocked. So there's the stats on the apprentices frying pan. A well-maintained frying pan. You can see the owner's careful maintenance. Handy in both cooking and fighting. Alright, that was that. James is such a reckless boy. He still has a long way to go. How can a cook make fine cuisine without salt? No matter what happens, thanks for your help. Now let's get out of here, Alice Feather. And we'll touch the Alice statue here. Let's make a manual save. Alright guys, so we're gonna head to the catacombs now. Let's get this going here. Oh, uh, it's right up here. This ladder... Uh... Shit, one sec. Let me skip all these guys. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's on the right side. Okay. I don't think I can make it there. I thought the elevator. Come on, let's go elevator. Let's see her. Here we are. Okay, here we go, catacombs. First thing I'm gonna do is go for the teleport. That's just gonna be straight ahead. We'll grab this item coming up first. Right over here, this is gonna be a blood shard. Uh, let's get the investigation going here. Now, all the way straight down is going to be the teleport. There's also a chest up here. We'll get that as well. Oh, nice. Level one. Let's see what we can do for level up here. Alright, I'm gonna learn Stone Skin. Reduces physical damage taken. Let's confirm that. And okay, so let's gonna get that weird pot back here. Oh, there you are. Alright, we'll use this as a to get up here. Now let's grab this, and we'll go for the the 400 gold. Oh crap. 
Come on. Come over here. Let me get back up here. There. Oh my god. One more to go. Got it, 400 gold. See ya guys! Okay, now we can proceed going this way. I'll show you in the map. We're just right over here, going on the left side. So first, we want to head right up here. There's going to be a secret area. And we're going to grab this item here, which is a frost stone. Now let's go down. And we'll go up here. Should be able to make it. There. Kill that thing. Oh, we have to make a jump. Like this. And slide under. And grab the uh, Shimmer Shrine. Which I believe is just a decoration. Slide back. Alright, so we're going to loop all the way around here by going straight down this way. Oh yeah, these spikes. You want to be in this like middle-ish section. Actually, there's a item. Let's grab that first. That's a blood shirt. See if I can knock this guy down. There we go. Easy. Okay, we'll just go around to get that. Actually, grab this. Glowing Ember. Yeah, that was right up here. Whirlwind will kill these guys really quick because we're a low HP. Okay, up here is a cage that we cannot get just yet. We have to kill the boss and I think make our way around to it. So we can do this though, like this and go up here and grab healing fortune times four. Oh, crap. That's okay. You can just make a double jump for that. This area should be... might need the flame. Yeah, we need it. This. Break the pillar open. Now that's just gonna lead you to the cemetery, which you don't want to go to, so... We'll get the Fledgling's Blood Soul. Let's see if we filled out the map yet. There's one part of the map that's not filled out, but we'll have to go around to it. However, let me make sure I got this one item down here first. Which I think I did. Yeah, it's just right down below us. Yeah, I, those are the Anne High grabbed it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Use the Owl's Feather to go back. Let's touch the Owl's to actually get an autosave going. So from here, we just wanna head to the right side. We'll kill these cage guys. Super easy. I don't know why they have a spell for that. <laughs> Specifically for those guys. Okay, so here's the Acts of the Holy Six. Alright, so let's make our way down. I think there is a secret area we can go into first. Oh! Is this it? No, I think it's on the other side. Down here more. Yeah, it's down here. Right over here, is this it? Nope. Oh, you know what? We have to kill the boss to get there, that's why. Okay. I thought we could also slide under there, but I guess not. So grab the healing potion times two. All I'm doing right now is just grabbing all the items and I'm going to teleport back. And we're going to make a manual save. Actually, the boss is right down here. 
So now that we have all the items, let's make a manual save. And okay guys, so let's make a teleport because I want to upgrade that hell. Hold on, go to the smithy. I want to upgrade that helmet that gives um, the extra attack power. Actually, while we're doing that, let's also put on... Let's take off the money drop because we're not going to need that. We're going to put attack plus 5 in. The reason why I'm doing this is because we have a boss fight coming up, right? So let's put in lots of attack power. Another thing is we'll take off the stamina cost negative 5. And we'll put in long strider's ring that will increase it further plus 10. Now we're at 204.7. And then we're going to get low HP to further increase that boost, right? So we have lots of attack power right now. Also, let's put we're gonna put this on too. But first we gotta upgrade it. So let's go ahead and toss this mythy. Forge. The glimpse catcher. So it's gonna take shimmer stones and cash, so we'll confirm. Now it's at plus three. And let's get that uh, plus six now. And you know what? That's good enough. We don't need a hexagonal shimmer stone in there right now, I don't think. Should be good enough at plus 7, because all we do is get an extra 0.3% attack. Anyways, this will increase it by plus 15. So now we're at 219.7 attack. Have you ever seen a mutated shimmer stone before? They can enchant weapons and armor for different effects. Each piece of equipment can only be enchanted once. Any previous effects will be removed by new ones. Hmm, he said something different for once. Alright, so let's go to enchant and go to a glimpse catcher. We're going to put a curse stone in here. Per percent stamina reduced will increase 1.32% of attack. Initial attack is negative 44%. But when we use Whirlwind, that's going to increase our attack by a lot because of the percent of stamina that's reduced. So the initial attack is negative 44%. Let's put a curse. Put a curse stone in there. Let's go see now. So now we need something with lots of stamina. So we should be upgrading something like Armor of the Raven. But first, let me go to the storage. And let me take out my Traverse Coat. Put this back in my inventory. Now I'm going back to the smithy and forge. Let's start by forging the Traverse Coat. With this plus three. So I'm going to be taking off Principal's Coat and putting it on Traverse Coat. I'm going to start by doing this with all of them. And getting the model plus three first. So Traverse Boots will get plus three. And Traverse Gloves will get plus three. Now let's go back to Traver's Coat, and we'll further increase this, since it doesn't cost that much. We'll get the plus 6, we go to Traver's Boots, and we'll get this to plus 6. If I need more Triangular Stones, I can always farm them really easy, so I'm not worried about that. And we'll do the same with the gloves. Let's just get it all plus 6. Now let's upgrade the Big Nose Glasses, and we'll put those on as well. Increase our Stamina. Right now we're focused on getting lots of Stamina for our Cursed Stone that's on our helmet. So Forge Big Nose Glasses, plus 3. And yeah, we'll go plus 6 all the way. There we go. So let's put that on. 2 plus 6. And okay, so we should be good now. Let's go try out this new setup here, and we'll see how it goes. I've never tried a crystal inside this the Glimpse Catcher before, so I'm curious to see its uh, full potential here. So we'll teleport to... The catacombs. Worst case scenario, we can always uh, remove that charm. Uh, I just want to see if I can kill faster with it. So I'm going to save my game first. And right now I'm focused on getting as low HP as I can possibly get. So we'll kill one of these guys for- wow. One shot the whirlwind at full health? Holy crap! He freaking almost one shot me! Okay. So far, it's looking okay. I need to get lower HP though. Let me remove some stuff because we're not going to be using it for the boss. So I'm going to remove this, remove this, and remove the Owl's Feather. I just want two things on right now. These two. Um, I need to lose more HP though. Is there like a weak enemy, like a bat? Come on, where's the bat? Let me find a weak enemy that I can lose some HP on. You know what? While I'm. Yeah, actually, never mind. You, come on. Damage me. Let's go. Okay, keep doing it. Here. Keep doing it. One more hit. That's all I'm giving you. 
Perfect. <laughs> Get crushed. What's my attack power? 321. That's not including the cursed um, thing, stone that's inside my helmet every time we whirlwind. If I can get a glimpse of it. 577! <laughs> Holy fuck! You guys see that? Watch this. Watch my stamina go down. Okay, I'm just gonna drain it and now equipment. Shit. 523. <laughs> this is gonna be beast! <laughs> the max potential is is great. With the cur that's from the cursed one that's inside my helmet there. Uh, the reason why I put it inside that glimpse helmet is because the curse stone gives the most attack percent. So it's really good for this helmet here. You know what? Let's put a... These blood cells are easy to find, so let's just use one of these. And let me take it off. And okay, so let me see. Do I have any skills? Of no, I don't. Here we go. I'll try to steal from him in the air first. Oh, nothing. Come on. Come on. Oh, got it. Now we can just focus on killing him. For fuck's sakes, a stupid boss, dude. Get down here. Come on, let's go. Come on, dude. Come on, get down. What the fuck are you waiting for? Let me lose some stamina here. Oh, I'm waiting for him. Come on. I'm trying to lose stamina so I can be stronger. For fuck's sakes! This fucking Spider-Man fucker. Come on. Oh, you're done. You're done. Dude, fucking stay on the ground. Thank God. Fucking die, Spider Man. Okay, we got him. So, a thousand seven gold and a skull hammer. And this we can use after. I don't want to use it now. See, we can use all the ocarinas that we have, but we're going to do this in a different episode because I want to do the underground cave first. So let's just finish this episode off here. We're going to head right up top here. And we'll start by getting the owl statue. We'll just do an autosave for now and grab feathered hat. And a vigilant rituals hanging chef. So there's a feathered hat. A hat trimmed with grey feathers, its faded edge and cracked leather show its age. Here's the vision of Rituals hanging shaft, can be used to decorate your room. Okay, let's read this, investigate. The first one to glimpse the sunlight, the first one who unveiled the truth, please forgive us building the tomb in memorial. May you rest in peace at last. Okay, now we want to head- actually let's put the owl's feather back on. And let's go to the equipment. Let's put our item find gear back on as well. And we'll change the rings. So I'll put jade ring back on. And that's good enough for me. I'm gonna keep everything else the same. I don't really need to reduce my stamina cost. I'd rather get the extra attack. Right? Okay, I need to do this though. Hold on. Go up here. We're gonna grab this item here, which is glowing ember. And we'll grab this, which is Fledgling's Blood Soul. Go down. Oh! Up here, and grab the Vivid Statue. 
A statue with a strong and handsome face. Just gazing upon him can make one hear his spirits roar. Alright, so let's get back out of here. That was just a secret area. Ah, here we go. Up here. We'll grab this, which is Ancient Vigilant Sword. Before the first one, this sword would be given to an Extraordinary Vigilant. Its special attack is Dark Anthem, which is up-down square attack. So up-down square attack, and it does this. Pretty powerful move. So we're officially just about done here now. We're just gonna go this way, go up here, and... Hold on. Yeah, so this way leads to the Church Plaza. But we don't want to head that way right now. We want to head up here. We need to knock down a cage. Hold on. Pelvis. Let's go down here like this. Spear guys are back. Oh, there's the cage right there. Break that down and boom. That was the cage I was talking about before that we couldn't access on the other side. It's better to get it from up here. So we should have everything now. So we can check out the church plaza there where it leads you out. It should be just right outside the catacombs, like the original entrance. See, just right outside here. Hold on. Yeah. Outskirts of May. Oh yeah. That leads you right out there. Wait, did we not go there? Hold on. Or is this a different side of it? I'm confused. Oh, what the fuck? This is a cemetery. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to this guy. The return of the goddess should be imminent, but I don't think she'll be coming back. What are you talking about? The goddess is dead. I was very religious once. I prayed every day, all day for years. I gave myself to the goddess and believed that I lived in her grace. I drove my parents crazy. It was only when my parents passed I realized that my faith was self-serving. Okay. Shimmer Church is open now for us, but... Uh, before I head there, I just want to see Elskirts and May for a sec. Really quickly. Interact. Doesn't look like we really fully explored this. Like, what's this guy doing? Hold on. You see, it's Edward, that's wonderful news. Some fantastic... Some fanatics think the plague came from the mine. What will they say now? It's nothing but a bunch of dead trees. The plague isn't over yet, but I'm glad that Edward is alright. What a disaster. Monster and disease. The doctor says there must be a connection between them. I reckon monsters and monsters and plagues are plagues. Intellectuals will always try to put two things together and claim they are connected. What do you know about the monsters? The doctor thinks they relate to the pollution in the flooded area, but the scholar Don disagrees. Some fanatics believe mining disturbed the spirits. I'm trying to be objective, but if you ask me, there's no real answer to this problem. Alright, so he's pretty useless. Now, I do want to check out the Shimmer Church really quick. Right... Right down here. I think this is like the only area here that we never really checked. This should be new. Yeah. The bishop has received her enlightenment from the goddess herself. We are all but her humble servants, and only she can lead May in this battle against the plague. I will always doubt the doctor's skills. If he's as talented as he claims himself to be, why can't he diagnose what ails my husband? Why doesn't he heal him? My husband used to be gravely ill for ages, it seemed. No one knew how to cure him. So we ended up here begging the church for help, but the help of scholars and nuns, a hexagonal redstone was taken from his belly. It was a miracle from the goddess. After that, I dedicated my life to religion and the church. It's a shame that my husband only believes in a daughter now. May the Shimmer Goddess lead me forward. This I pray. The Goddess has spent her energy to bring light to this world. Now she rests until she returns to the light once more. How much dialogue does she have? The Bishop has prayed for months to end the plague. Her devotion has left her body weak and sickly. She is the Goddess's servant, the only bridge between her and us. Without the Bishop, we wouldn't be alone. We believe her efforts will soon drive the plague from the May forever. Call on the goddess in difficult times, pray and she will listen. Uh, pretty sure we actually have to do a quest here after. Alright, let's continue this way. Hold on, go down. 
This leads to a cemetery. Ah, uh, here's the upstairs part. We'll do the cemetery after. Investigate. Brilliant heart poems. When she summons darkness, the world becomes dark. When she summons light, she brings us clear, brilliant skies. The goddess says to us, Be not afraid to walk alone in the darkness. Look to the shimmer light in the distance. That is the light of your heart. Follow it. Investigate. The power of prayer. The night is harmful, but the light that comes from the goddess will lead to a new beginning. She will bring a new dawn to the world. All we need to do is have faith and pray, for prayers gives her strength. Another investigation. Sermon of Shepherd Hubble. The Shimmer Goddess' glory and might lie within her light. Though scholars who have read Donathiel may disagree, but it's important to remember that even the age of Donathiel is far from the goddess's light. Don't doubt, have faith, don't doubt. Those filthy people should die so the church can purify the believers. Those who have never answered the call of the church are unholy and deserve a slow death. The plague will end and the Shimmer Goddess will lead the chosen believers to rebuild the town. Investigate. Monotheism and Shimmer Religion. The Shimmer Religion is monotheistic after the Great Siege. Her purpose was finally revealed. The Goddess is the only one who can overcome the darkness and return the light to the world. This room is for staff only. Please leave if you're not a member of the church. Um, well that's unfortunate, isn't it, buddy? Um, uh, Forbidden Library. Investigate. There are many versions of the hexagonal candle ritual. According to ancient documents, the hexagon represents the six aspects of the goddess. Body, science, heart, peace, acceptance, and perseverance. Let's go inside Forbidden Library. Wow, dude, lots of stuff here. Poetry of the Long Gentle Night. Darker than shadow, deeper than love itself. More foolish than any creature. The night sings softly, slowly. Let's grab this item here, which is Shimmer Code. Can be used to decorate your room. Should be another investigation somewhere. Here it is. Brief History of May. There is no place for peaceful than May. It is the holy land of the vigilance and the place where the final step to return daylight will be taken. Oh, we have a lock up here. The door is locked and we have no key for it at the moment. Alright, there is some items that I want to grab in the cemetery, but I'm going to do that next episode. And then we're also going to do the underground cave next episode, so I'm going to save my game around here. Um, actually, I'll probably save it in the cemetery then, I suppose. Let me eat Owl's Feather for a sec. Teleport E1 Cemetery. Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing a little item cleanup here. A very quick item cleanup here in the next episode. We'll also do the underground cave, since that's a new area that we never explored yet. See you then. Thanks for watching.